Hello Aquarius, getting ready to do your reading. This is for the month of February. So this could be about work, family, love, anything might show up, more than one thing might show up, month of February. All right. Overall energy is the Six of Cups. Hmm. So maybe, okay, Four of Cups, Eight of Wands. So this might be somebody you already know, obviously the Six of Cups, but it doesn't have to be an X, I guess is what I was going to say. Because it, oh, okay, so this is going to be better than what I was thinking. Three of Swords, this person misses you. Could be a Cancer, but they could be coming to see you. World and the Eight of Swords. Oh. Under the deck, though, is a Wheel of Fortune. So this tells me this may be somebody who can't get over you. It may have been... Um, like this is like a whirlwind romance, you know, there's eating, drinking with the six of coin, going out, buying stuff, sex, having fun, being together with the lover's card. So it's like someone really enjoyed being with you and you probably enjoyed being with them, but it kind of appears like they haven't gotten over you. They still think about you. They're thinking about coming back and seeing you because here is the cup, the offer, the, you know, email, text, whatever, and conversations. Okay. What is the six of cups? this person yeah they enjoy seeing you they enjoy being with you they're afraid you're moving on they reminisce about the past okay so this person is in love with you so if you're wondering like what this person wants um, again they have obviously very strong feelings for you because this is telling me they're stuck in their head thinking about you quite a bit what is the six of coin they may have wanted to get engaged also is what I picked up there at the Six of Coin, buying a ring. But again, I kind of feel like you didn't want to do that. Yeah, there's something here about money, the future, talking about money or where you guys were going to live or what you're going to do or getting married. They may have been an earth sign. Three of Swords. Communication. Wanting to come see you. Let me do the Chariot also. Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups. There may have been one of you may have been married. Does not have to be, but I, that you know I have to say that when I see the Ten of Cups, that maybe that's why you didn't stay with them. Maybe they were married or you were married, and it was just a fling, something like that. Maybe what I'm seeing here. They may have been married, but they can't stop thinking about you. You may have cut them off because you know you figured it wasn't going to go anywhere. What is the Eight of Swords? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so they want to renew this. They've been spying on you. They're coming towards you. I mean, everything in their energy, you know, movement, coming in fast, manifesting, you know, taking the actions they need to take to come see you, to talk to you, whatever it is. So, again, they're, obviously you guys aren't together. You guys, you know, walked away, whether it was you or them or it was mutual. But they didn't stop thinking about you and they're spying on you. So this is one of those readings where the person's going to show up. You're going to hear from them randomly. It doesn't have to be an ex, you guys. It almost looks like somebody that you really did like. Someone you, well, that would be an ex. But you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be someone you don't like. It looks like somebody that you had a good connection with this person. But it just, I think overall, like it wasn't going to go anywhere. Probably because there is a marriage involved, another relationship. Or it could be that they lived really far away. This person didn't get over you, though. Now, this could also mean, though, that they are picturing forever with you. They have a very strong emotional connection with you. They see the Ten of Cups with you. The house, the kids, the family, the dog, you know, whatever, whatever it would include. Okay. So, I think, like, the message here for this person is that they are really into you, probably more than you realize. There's a lot of cups on their side. And maybe back then it seemed like it was just more about, you know, finances, where you guys would live, things like that. Maybe your job got in the way, you travel a lot, you weren't willing to compromise. This really affected them. They think about you a lot. They think about being with you. Nine of Swords. Justice. So this person, again, obsessing, thinking about you a lot, up at night, and they decide, you know what, screw it. I'm going to send that text. I'm going to make that phone call. I don't look, care if I look stupid. I'm just going to do it. And that's the energy I'm getting off of this person. You may not be interested in them. That's the seven of wands, though seven days, maybe a week's time might be what that's saying when I get the same number in a row. Let me do one more. Seven of wands. 
the moon. Yeah, I'm just getting kind of like you're confused by this person. I'm getting there could have been a major breakup. They could be a Scorpio or a Pisces or just a water sign in general. But it's like you want you. It's like you want to know what they're thinking, feeling before you answer the text, before you move forward. I do see a lot of again love on their side. Let's clarify. Ten of Cups. It could be an Earth sign. But again, I already know that this is you because now Queen of Coin a lot of times does show up as somebody who is married. So it's usually the partner. So it could be the wife or the husband, depending on the reading. And Ten of Cups there. This is showing me that they want to leave this person, but they are not divorced. They are still with them. I don't have anything here, though I did have Tower under the deck. That tells me they'd be willing to divorce if you were to say, yes, let's get together. But that tells me that they are still married in a relationship, but they want to you know, play Three of Cups, Nine of Wands. They want to come towards you, but they. But again, they have stronger feelings for you than they do this person they're with, and it is showing me that you that they would. It appears at this point in the reading they would definitely make some type of changes, plans to change to be with you, but now I can see why you would block them because you know if they are married. They have some other major, major commitment that they're not walking away from. They didn't in the past. You know what makes it different now. Okay. Page of Swords. Arguing. Let's see. Okay. So you may. Okay. So they are missing you. Five of Cups is under the deck. They're sorry about something. This could easily lead to some arguing. So you may need to just remain calm. You may need to just wait with temperance energy. You might want to ignore this person. I don't know. Let me see from a different deck. All right, let's go to a couple decks for advice because if this resonates, let's see if we can get a little bit of advice. Now, these I kind of just see for the overall energy. You know, does deception show up? Does uh, wedding show up? You know, we don't, I don't necessarily follow these, you know, to a T or anything, but let me see. What is the energy here? Yeah, so that means they're probably still married and love yourself first came out and give your relationship a chance. Okay. Now, if they're not married, if there's no third party, then yes, it could mean you guys may be in some type of committed relationship in the future. And I know flirt is under the deck. Let me go to these cards. Now, these usually will be brutally blunt. What do you feel about this person coming back in? How do you feel about this person? They're saying helpful people. Let me do another one. Oops. Okay, in their near future. One more, please. How do you feel with this person or this relationship? Be assertive. Okay, they're not really answering us. They're not giving us a yes or a no, which is actually kind of a good thing. So there's someone who's going to help you. It doesn't have to be a person. It can be a group of people. It doesn't have to even be somebody you know, okay, from my experience with this deck. It could be this person, though. But there is somebody or something, a situation that's going to help you in the near future. Okay, this is actually a good sign if I put these together. This could be... If you have very strong feelings for this person, if you liked this person or loved this person, there definitely could be that there is a situation, like you could, they may divorce. Be assertive means obviously going after what you want. Um, they may get a lawyer, a helpful person, could be like a lawyer, someone who starts a divorce, or I mean, it could be anything depending on your circumstances. So actually this person may be willing to change their circumstances to be with you, or their, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get some type of help from someone, a group, whatever, in the future, and you can go after what you want when it comes to this person. I hope that makes sense. I'm just going to leave that there. Uh, I wanted to use a different deck, though, and kind of see an outcome. Again, love yourself first this makes me feel like don't don't drop everything for this person. Okay, they could they're probably still married, but it's still this is telling me that yeah, and there's a possibility of the two of you coming together, and that this could work, and that might be where the helpful person is coming in the future. Like you know, they may want to get a divorce from their spouse so they can be with you, or leave a job or move. Where is this going, universe, angel spirits and guides? Do you have a future outcome outlook? Remember, this is also not set in stone for everyone, but let's just see what shows up. Okay. Having to be strong, wondering where this is going. Working together. Okay, overwhelmed. Okay. All right. Actually, Ten of Coins is under the deck, so there is long term. There's two tens here. So this person 
definitely working together helpful in some way possibly is what that's saying. They want to work together. They may be overwhelmed, but again, they may be getting a divorce or leaving a job with the Ten of Wands. No big deal, I'm feeling. I feel like this is their energy. This could be something that turns out with the sun obviously very happy and the full new beginning with this person. So I feel like this person has a lot to tell you. They've been through a lot. They maybe even made some realizations with the Seven of Cups. I feel like this is telling me that they didn't take your advice or something or they feel very overwhelmed. It's kind of what I'm getting, if that makes sense. Like I feel something like they should have listened to you is what's coming through with this card. Um, they want to free themselves of a situation. And I'm kind of getting like maybe you will be the helpful person also to help move this forward. Actually, you may be the helpful person. But always put yourself first is what I'm getting with love yourself first. Um, and you guys have a new beginning together. Because they are saying give it a chance. So very interesting. Okay. And as I was shuffling, this is what's under the deck as I'm sitting here shuffling and talking. But that's interesting. Three of Cups, Knight of Cups, Lovers. Definitely potential here with this person. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.